Go. All right, three bars. If, and actually means if and only if, but if is good enough. A equals negative two and, that's the dot, B equals three, then, that's this arrow, right? then 3A squared minus 5B plus eight, right? And so what they're saying is, hey, can you do it? So what you do is two column proof, right? Given, right? They gave you this. And what are we going to do? When you're putting something in, hey, what am I? A teacher, no. <laughs> a substitute, right? I'm subbing, right? So I, I'm subbing in place of someone, right? Same thing. I'm going to put this in place of this. So I'm going I'm to say I have three... A squared minus 5B plus 8, right? And so I need to put them in. I need to put in this negative 2, right? I need to put in this 3 for B. Does that make sense? And what's that called? Substitution. Right? And we said, hey, once I know what it is, you can erase and just go sub. Once you know sub means substitution, not subtraction, right? Substitution, right? Then we're good. So, okay, next. We're really doing PIMDOS here, right? Order of operations. That's what I noticed yesterday. I, I was doing the quiz. And I, I made a really nice, neat chart of a flow chart of how I want to see your um, things. So I was going order of operations. Basically, right? Um, PIMDAS. So parentheses? No. Exponents. So we're doing E from the order of the operations, the exponents part, right? From left to right. Okay, so what is negative 2 squared? Negative. Nope. Negative 2 squared is, neg is negative 4. You're right. But negative 2 squared is 4. Weird, huh? There's a negative times a negative. Right, because two negatives make a positive, right. Here, the square does not affect the negative, but here it does. You see the difference? One, you're saying the quantity of negative two. The other one, you're actually not including the negative. Because remember, did I tell you this? There are no negative numbers. There's really just negative one times a natural number. And that's how we came up with negative numbers. Right? So before we had negatives, we only had natural numbers. And then we created the negative numbers. Do you know it took us 3,000 years to come up with the zero? <laughs> the Babylonians came up with zero. This is a very, can you imagine not having a zero in your number system? It really messes things up. Yeah. Okay? So... That is four, right? And so we have to do each step over here. What's the next step? From left to right, right? So we're doing multiplication, division, right? PIMDAS. So we did E out of PIMDAS. So out of PIMDAS, we just did this E. And now we're about to do the MD part. <laughs> it's still called simplification for you guys, right? But because we're slowly learning this stuff, we're going to write down the 
the order of operations that we're using. So here, from left to right, that's why we're starting here. So that's 12 minus 5 times 3 plus 8. I noticed the student yesterday missed the problem because they didn't do the order of operations correctly. Just one little step. Everything else was beautiful. The whole test was beautiful. He only missed one step on the whole entire test. So, does he not know what he's doing? Because he missed one step? No, he knows what he's doing. He just made a mistake. It happens. Okay? All right. So, what happens here? Is this 15 or negative 15? Uh, 15. Negative 15. Remember, that negative is part of this guy. <coughs> Right? So that stays with him. So that's 12 minus 15, right? And again, MD from left to right, or simplifying, right? Then what? Now you can combine them. Now, some people will do all of them at one time. That's associative property, right? Or cumulative property. I like to just do two at a time from left to right. So addition, subtraction, right? From left to right. It's in here we just call it simplifying. So what is 12 minus 15? Negative three. Negative three plus eight. Notice how I'm changing the colors so that you can see the next step. Does that make sense? Okay. And then negative three plus eight. Five. Okay. And again, what step was that? Still AS, right? Simplifying. Okay. In time, in time, we're going to get to know all of our steps. And the plus the addition property of equality, subtraction property of equality, uh, symmetric property, right? Distributive property. We'll get, we're going to get to know all of those. It's going to get easier easier and easier okay all right the next one right so I'm gonna pause this and then I'm gonna start a new video and erase what we just did because it's kind of all kind of getting jumbled right all right so I